everybody, my name is Louisa. Welcome to my channel. I am so excited about the bargain bead box for the month of June. The colors are absolutely beautiful. They're peachy colors, pink colors, blush tones, and, and also um, a gold metal. So I'm very excited about coming up with some kind of a design with, um, with those um, uh, colors. But before we get into it, I wanted to show you a solution that I found for the problem that I had with my kitty cat wanting to get on my bead tray. I discovered that if I put the cat bed on my table, he pretty much stays there the whole time. So I'm very excited about, you know, finally finding a solution and not having my cat all over my beads anymore. Um, anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, lay out the beads and take a quick look to see what's in the collection. I don't want to go through each one in any great detail because I don't have a lot of time. I just want to take a quick peek at all the beads and then we'll come up with some kind of design. Okay, see you soon. Bye bye. Okay, so I've got all the beads laid out. And here they are. Um, they're very uh, pretty. I, I, I think I'm going to really enjoy this project. The colors are all very subtle. We've got these uh, very unique looking uh, button, pearl button beads that I've never seen before. Uh, and then of course these gorgeous uh, electroplated Chinese crystal beads in peach opal combination and some bicones and some uh, peach colored rondelles and then we've got some charms here some spacer beads these very pretty 10 millimeter um, agate crackle agate round beads and then some druzy pendants one larger one and two smaller ones over here and some six millimeter um, rose quartz round beads these are unique looking links Quite a few of them over there. Bead caps, of course. And then uh, these are some 8mm rose quartz round beads. Same color as uh, the, the smaller ones. And then this uh, huge chandelier pendant. Uh, crescent shaped. So we'll see what we can come up with uh, with this piece. And of course we've got chain. We've got a couple of other pendant um, chandelier findings. Oh, they could, I guess they could be earrings or a pendant. And then some hook and eye clasps. So this is the whole set collection, the June Bag and Bead Box collection. And we'll see what we can come up with. Okay, so I'll see you soon. I'm back. Um, yes, this is exactly what was left over after I played around and created some beautiful pieces. Uh, I had four little pearl button beads left over. 
Um, of course, I did have some findings left over as well. I had some chain. I had one of the chandelier findings left over and a hook and eye clasp. And I think that's about it. Oh, I did have some of those uh, beautiful um, links that came with a sub subscription. Um, but anyway, I think that it was the four, the four loop links. Yeah. But other than that, all the beads were gone except for these four little pearl button beads. So I ended up creating uh, three necklaces, three sets of earrings, and four bracelets. Let me show you the first piece. Here's the first piece. Um, as you can see, I used the Druzy pendant. I used the pearl button beads here. I used some of the peach colored rondelles, some of the bicones. Let me um, zoom in so you can see a little bit closer. And then I made a second strand up here using the pearl button beads and uh, bicones. So this is what it looks like. Um, this little stone came with um, a, dif a different uh, subscription. Well, it wasn't really a subscription. It was a boss bead bag from Fire Mountain Gem. It was one of the pieces that came in there um, that I received sometime last year and I did some wire wrapping on it. Um, but anyway, this is what uh, this piece looks like. And uh, let me show you the top portion of it. Uh, I used one of my own um, toggle clasps and I did use some 8-0 um, some beads along the, sh the larger strand here. So that's this piece. And then along with this, I also made a couple of earrings using the same uh, Druzy pendant, but of course these are in a smaller size. And um, I, I thought it turned out pretty good. Um, and of course the bracelet that goes with it would be um, this one. Although uh, I used some of the, you know, some of the rondelles to create a second piece, which these are actually interchangeable. You can use these with any of the necklaces that I made. And I did make these little uh, dangles using the, the four loop link, which I thought came out pretty cute. So let me show you the other piece. Okay, so here's the second necklace that I made. Um, it was uh, actually very, very easy to come up with um, this design. I used some of the, those large rose quartz uh, beads, as you can see right here. Actually, no, I'm sorry. Those are not the rose quartz. These are the 10 millimeter crackle agate, agate uh, round beads that came with a subscription. And then there's those peach rondelles. And I also used the peach opal larger uh, crystal electropay crystal beads right there, as you can see. Um, and then some of the chain. And then I did use one of the uh, charms the flower medallion charm that came with the box. Um, so anyway, I thought it came out pretty, pretty nice. The back, um, the back I just used a regular um, lobster clasp that I have in my collection. And along with this um, necklace, I also made, um, I also made a bracelet to match. This one right here to match. But again, you can use any of the of the ones that I've created um, for the other necklaces as well. This one has a little dangle as well, as you can see right here, using one of those uh, links that came with the box. And <clears throat> along with this, I made some earrings. And here they are. So the earrings have the same uh, pattern of beads and the little charm to match the necklace. So overall, I thought this one came out pretty nice. So now let me go ahead and show you the third necklace. All right, so here's the third necklace. Um, pretty ornate, not something that I would wear, but um, I thought it was pretty nevertheless. Um, I'm sure, you know, you could find an occasion to wear something like this. So I used the very large crescent pendant that came with the box. Here I've used some of those links and some of the pearl button beads and the smaller uh, rose quartz beads here. And then I also, um, with the, along with the chandelier pendant, I went ahead and added a charm because I felt having the, the hole there, um, you know, without, without something to cover, it looked a little bare. So I added the little charm right there and then the large 10 millimeter agate round bead right here at the bottom. 
and then I also used it up here at the top and the larger rose quartz beads all the way up at the top um, the smaller ones are actually closer to the um, the clasp and I did use the hook and eye clasp that came with the box so um, anyway I thought it looked pretty good and very balanced and of course um, I made a bracelet to match and again you can interchange them so this one goes you know very well with um, the design as, as well as this one any one of the four bracelets that I made because they're all you know using the same colored beads would go well with any of my um, necklaces uh, the earrings came out pretty nice as well let me just go ahead and show you those here they are um, I used the the larger agate beads for the earrings and the rose quart bead at the top and um, so that's it I had a lot of fun um, I thought they came out pretty nice and um, uh, I hope you've enjoyed uh, seeing you know my creations and hopefully it'll give you some inspiration to come up with your own creations um, I love the bargain bead box because like I've said many times before the beads are all coordinated well at least the colors um, coordinate very well with each other and it definitely taps into the right side of my brain to come up with ideas because um, um, you know sometimes it's really hard I'll, I'll sit there I have a large collection of beads and I'll sit there staring at them, not knowing what to do. But uh, when Bargain Bead Box sends all these findings and the beads and the, you know, all the different colors and everything, and um, it, it just makes it so much easier to create something and something that I would normally not be able to come up with on my own. Um, so having somebody hand me a bunch of beads and findings taps into my creative side. So hopefully it'll do the same for you. And um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this um, video it's not a tutorial because you know it's so time it's very time consuming to to do tutorials and a lot of you advanced beaters already know how to create uh, components and link beads and everything so i didn't want to get into that uh, hopefully in the future I, i'll do a beginner tutorial to to show you how to do all that but for now i just wanted to show you some of my creations and i hope you've enjoyed it and please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe and I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.